Hello, this is Brandy, aka Pixelated Twix. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just starting this new game called Moonlighter. I have yet to touch this game, um, except to try to figure out the controls because I was having some trouble getting into the game and I thought that um, the game was uh, buggy, but apparently this is strictly a keyboard type IP. There will be no usage of the mouse, which will be a little different for me, but I'm okay with that too. Uh, it'll pose a little bit of a challenge. Anywho, from what I was told about this game, it is very similar to Zelda. That's all I know about it. That's it. Um, I love Zelda games, but I haven't played one in a very, very long time. I think the last Zelda game I played was on the DS, and that was it. I have not bought any of the late later Nintendos. The last Nintendo I owned was a GameCube, so that's how long it's been, guys. Um, okay, well, I guess the Game Boy doesn't necessarily count as a, a Nintendo, but it's a Nintendo product. Whatever. You know what I mean, right? So let's get into this game. I'm really excited to see what this is about. Um, I will have to adjust the volume as we go along because I'm not really sure how that's going, how that's going to sound, if the music's going to be too loud or whatever. So let's get into the game. Let's hit any key or button to continue. All right, so options. How do we sound? There we go. Maybe we should turn the music off. How about that? We've got the music off. Turn the volume, the sound up a little bit. The UI um, dialogue on. Okay. So, how do we, what are these, graphics, full screen, on, oops, <laughs> you don't need to see that, <laughs> uh, alright, so, how do we get out of here, okay, so we start a new game, and, okay, a new game, all right, so difficulty can be changed later. Excuse me, can be changed later through the game options normal for players who want to focus on the story. Hard recommended. Originally, original difficulty level created by the developers recommended for most players. Very hard for players who want a combat challenge. Well, let's start off with what they recommend, which is hard. And uh, yeah, we'll see you. I'm kind of excited. Oh, among the stars of the night, there is a land as old as imagination. One night, mazes full of extraordinary treasures and deadly creatures appeared in this land. Ooh, gotta be quick. They call them the dungeon, strange, ever-changing ruins of unknown lands. Soon a village of the slightly curious took root near the dungeons. This they named Rhinoka. Among the settlers, two groups shine brightest, heroes, merchants, glory, and riches. But the dungeons proved, to, proved too dangerous. They were soon closed as too many lives were lost in their depths. Life became hard for the town, especially for the young owner of the oldest shop, Will of Moonlighter. Long dreaming of opening the mysterious fifth door of the dungeons, Okay, I read that with the wrong inflection. Continue. Maybe I should leave the music on. That sounds kind of weird. Is that Moonlighter? I guess this is Moonlighter. These kind of remind me of um, Super Nintendo graphics. Okay, so how do I, what are my controls? 
So Z, K, and J, those must be like my how I access certain items. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'm just moving around breaking stuff. Is this how I'm looting? What is this up here? What's the space bar? Okay, so the space bar are my is is how I roll. The space bar is how I roll. <laughs> um what is E? Nothing so far. What about space bar E? Nothing? Okay. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Um, so I'm supposed to jump over this dude? I died. <laughs> what? Um, so, okay. I'm, I'm looking up at the top and it looks like I'm supposed to run and jump. No. Okay. All right. Is, is E like a thing? Is E? Okay. That's not, uh... <laughs> is there like a limited life? <laughs> what? Okay. I'm going to figure this out. Yo, okay, that's not it. Am I supposed to do this? Nope. Can I go here? Nope. Hmm. Well, what is Z? Is it Z do anything? No, okay. J, none of those do anything. E does nothing. This. Okay, that's my space bar. So far, space is doing nothing for me. Um, yeah, what? Okay. Does, like, double tap do anything? No? Okay. Oh, I've got to run. I see. That's, okay, I got it. Whoa. Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, what the... Okay, okay. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, I'm like a ninja with the with the broom. Oh, sweet. What is that? E is like potion. Gotcha. Okay. So should I like grab all this then? All right. What's okay? J E. Nice tutorial. Okay. I'm thinking I'm getting. Okay. What is K? K is like a quick ta 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 ta. <laughs> Ta 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 ta. <laughs> uh, okay, Jay. Um, wait, is this my? Oh, this is uh, E. Okay, E. What is this? Oh, this must be like crafting. So, how do I take it? J. Gotcha. Move all. Um, okay. Let's take all of that then. Um, and I is close. You gotta remember, ta-ta is K. 
Oh, okay. What is this? J is... This is like keyboard uh, skills. You have to know your your letters. All right. Choose a letter. Um, okay, that's, that's eyes. Get out of here. I just want to make sure I got these right. Okay, I. All right, let's go. Oh, 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 okay. Wait a minute now. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh, what? What is this? Ta -ta -ta. <laughs> I don't want to use my potions yet. Oh, you only get so many chances? Oh, okay. Never mind. Was I not supposed to make it? What a sorry looking kid. Well, thank you very much, Zenon. All alone now. Rest for a bit. Well, I have you now. Whatever you say, Yoda. This is interesting. I am uh, a little perplexed. So is this a uh, Zenon store? Or home slash store? Even as a mere child, barely able to walk, you were curious of the dead. Excuse me, gosh, that was so rude. Are these dungeons? There is no doubt you carry the same obsession as old Pete. Morning boy. Did our little merchant bite off more than he could manage? I would say so. Will, listen to me. The hard truth is this. You are the last of your family, the only one left to run Moonlighter. You can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. Find some artifacts, then use your pendant to get out of the dungeon. And for creator's sake, stop using that broom of yours, you daft boy. <laughs> I happen to be a ninja with the broom, sir. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Okay, Zelda. <laughs> it's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. -na -na -na. <laughs> Come on. This is like completely Zelda. Now then, get up. All I need is Navi. You're wasting your light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Hey, listen! I'm waiting for that to happen. So that's, uh... Oh, sell... Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now. Open the shop up and allow the customers in. All right. Um, hold to open shop. Come on in. What am I doing? That is... Uh, okay. So, did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. I, I didn't see it. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. I mean, I heard a ting, but I don't know. Okay, let's see if we can tell what his, his expression is. Okay. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Well, he obviously wasn't happy about it. Lesson learned? I, I, I guess. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. Okay. 
If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices on your wares. Point is, charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on and you have gathered undiscovered wares and artifacts. I can read. Oh, is this my Okay. So how do I okay E crystallized energy page up page down oh okay no how okay I need to figure out how to navigate through these menus E okay I guess would seem the sun has fallen for the day. Would seem. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring the shop to its full glory? That responsibility responsibility falls to you, not I. It's in your blood. Will make us proud. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword of yours? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant, boy. What pendant? Go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. Okay. Is this my house? How do I get in? Oh, I have to go to a dungeon. I see. Alright. Let's see. Dungeons. What is this? Turret unable to shoot. Oh. Golems. So. Interesting. So I'm off to a dungeon. Dungeons are more dangerous at night. So yes. Let's go at night. Sweet. It can break stuff. Can't break that though. I wonder if this is going to be exactly like Zelda. Read dungeon entrance. You know, when you get like a better sword and you, you know, you have to have a special glove to pick up heavy rocks. What is this? <clears throat> Excuse me. Golem dungeon. Dungeon available to merchants and heroes. And what is this? Forest dungeon. Dungeon available to heroes. Not recommended for merchants. Okay, so I'm just a merchant. Tech dungeon. No entry. Desert dungeon. Only for heroes. So I'm not a hero. What's up here? So I assume I'm going to have to go to the golem dungeon. Oh, that's where I was before. Beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we are better prepared. This feels so much like Zelda, it's not even funny. Ta-ta. <laughs> Where's my shield? K. K is my shield. Um... There, that's my map down here in the left, bottom left hand corner. Oh no. Oh. This is kind of fun. Anything else? Oh, it's two of you dudes. Oh, it's no, it's one dude. Uh... Oh, 
Can I whack him? All right. What do we got? I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Um. Let's see. Where are we at? Wait, I want to go this way. Um. This is so much like Zelda, it's not even funny. But I'm liking this. Because I can't play Zelda on my PC. What is this? Okay. this? Jay. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I, my time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant all but shattered from the scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say far better than he. He caught me spying on him near the guardian's room. He dropped a couple items when he fled, one of which is this map? Diagram? Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Say, oh, Crazy Pete done lost his marbles. Oh, it's Crazy Pete. But I was right. Each guardian of a dungeon must possess a key of sorts. All of them linked to that giant locked door outside the dungeons. So there's like smaller dungeons and then we've got the main dungeon. Okay. Um, I think. The fifth door of the Rhinoka. Sadly, I won't be around to see the door open. To whoever found me, I apologize for the smell, <laughs> but the diagram should be around here somewhere. Please open the fifth door of Rhinoka. These dungeons are not what they seem. All right. Um... Oops. Oh, come on. Let's see. Big boss gonna kill me. I supposed to let them all out. Now I have to chase this weird creature that stole my stuffs. Ah, big boss gonna be up so gonna be so upset with little me. Okay, so there are four smaller dungeons, each having a key within its you know, whatever. And I suppose you have to collect all four keys to get into Rhinoka? I'm not sure what Rhinoka is. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. I assume that once they collect all these, whatever, I have some kind of superpower. I don't know. I have no idea. We will figure this out as we go. So, is that it? Like, I don't... Um... I guess I better drink something. Oh, I, I have to actually like... Oh! Escaped with pendant. Very cool. That was it. I didn't get to read or go through the whole dungeon. But very cool. Can I go back through? Oh, there's uh, Zenon. Ah, the young proprietor of Moonlighter has returned. I have. You look intact. Finally learned to use that pendant properly. It's about time, boy. Okay. What are you holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You, you found old Pete? Yeah? Dead? See, this is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Just get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon. And look after Moonlighter. <laughs> Apparently he's not going to do that. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some chaps want to move in. Attempt to revitalize this town. Apparently they need some starter capital first. Would you be nice to see some... Would be nice to see some new life in Rhinoka. Oh, I live in Rhinoka. Gotcha. Nice indeed. All right. This is actually kind of fun. What is this? Is this like the... Okay, that's the board. It's my hint to go check it out. 
uh, investments, town, shop. So do I choose, like, if I want to invest in the town or my shop? Well, let's just try the town first. Um, do you feel that dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring me enough money and materials. A forge can be reckoned with. Uh, okay. Not enough money for that. Okay. Gotcha. Um, back. Is there... How do I... Okay. I totally understand, but how do I get to the next person. Oh, there we go. Is brute force getting you nowhere in the dungeons? Visit the wooden hat to find potions and enchantments for this and that. So I don't apparently have enough money for either one of those. Can I talk to this person? I sort of always wanted to become a merchant, but I could never find a pendant. Most pendants used today were found when the dungeons were first discovered. Since then, finding a new one has become nearly impossible. Who's this? Rhinoka, what a town. What a town. Boy, Rhinoka has seen better days when your grandpa first opened Moonlighter. People from all over the lands would come to visit the shop. The hustle and bustle was constant, but now... But now... What? Anything over here? This is actually really cool. Very Zelda-esque. All right, so I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. It's It's been about 30-something, oh, well, close to 30 minutes. Um, this game is actually pr very promising. I think I'm going to like it. Um, but we're going to have to stop here for now. If you like this game, give me a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like me to continue to, continue to play it. Um, if you're not a member of the family, I hope you consider subscribing by pushing the subscribe button at the bottom and the bell notification so you know every time I upload. I do upload at least three times a week. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this episode of A Moonlighter. And until next time, ciao.